now. Now to make this really work, I think what we've got to do is we've got to develop all of this area off. So in there, first of all. Now I'm going to use the grey in here, which is 270. And I've also got to get rid of that tongue uh, mark. Otherwise that's going to show through a little bit of that. On top of that, a little bit of pink. One, eight, nine. well because there's a bit of light on the tongue and then another new color that's all these new colors folks this is 131 it's probably the only time we're going to use it in this picture can't think of it going anywhere else but it's a very pretty and a very good color There's one more colour, and that is the 226. Now this is the closest to the, the colour that I can get. And on top of that, I'm going to put and use the 270. Now this acts like a blender so you get a nice blended look to it that's probably okay for the moment a little bit of white put back now we can leave that now because now we know where it is we're going to be encroaching on it with the dark colors in a minute so to start off with in here I'm going to use the 273 because this is very dark in here no need to get rid of the graphite so it's going to go on top of it and I've already put in or no I haven't put in but I'm going to put in the 270 because we're going to make that grey in a minute all of that and all, all around here this will all be grey with just a little spot of light don't forget to do this folks if you're following me it's actually very important to get rid of that graphite line there because right on this edge there's some white when I say white it's a continuation of this colour um, which was ivory it's best to do this before you complete the darker colours because it's more difficult to do it afterwards a little spot of ochre as well yeah, I still haven't got rid of that line but I'm hoping that I, I can do it in the background I can make a background a little darker um, where was I? I was in here now I'm going to make this grey in here the problem here is if I did that I'd lose out on this very dark marking here so the way to get out of that is to actually draw that in it looks daft and looks very severe but it won't when I finish it because then we can now on top of the 270 which we put in we can now use the 273 gosh this is hard direct I hear you say well it isn't as long as you follow those rules I'm telling you 
Now, now that goes down. Make it quite light to start with because we have, there are different shades within this. But it's fascinating. See what I mean? Had we left that this colour, we'd be losing it by now. So here. It's most peculiar. It's my first llama, but I have always loved the creatures. Now this is where I was telling you we need some depth. And it's just like that. And remember, we've got the little bit of white on that edge. is a little stronger so that can be put in strong and here can be a little lighter because it's ba barely see a difference between here and here but, but it's just going to be like that Just going to go back in with the white bit because we've got a shape here with, which I haven't got right. It's like that. That's better. That lightens that off. Now I'm use, going to use the one egg one now, and this is tricky because oh, I tell you, what I'm going to do before I do that, folks. I'm just going to make sure that that's really strong in there. Using a bit of black. Now the reason for that. 181 now will be put on here. Right, what I would do is, is show you this one little bit at a time. You can see why I said you need the black in there. me to do that. That wasn't concentrating. Fortunately we can get rid of it. I forgot what I was going to say then. I think I was going to say that you need a very light touch with this 181. But in a minute I'm going to, I'm going to show you how you can blend it. And it comes down to there. And it goes like that. There's another one that goes around like that. Like that. Now let me just show you what happens here. I'm going to use, stay with my softest colour shaper because what I want to do is to do this. I have 181, even though it is very strong colour will perform for you like that now 
Now that is quite remarkable how you can be so gentle. All the fact that we've got the white in there is helping us because we can use the the white or a little bit of the white and the other colours just to pull it back into this <clears throat> under here as well. Now, the, although I put white in there, it is more grey, so we can now pull the colour. Make sure I've got that right. That white comes down there. That's right there. Yes, that's grey, so you can use what's on the color shaper to just color it. Okay, now we do need that black to be just a little bit stronger. I've lost my 270. Oh, tucked under my paper. Right. Now this is again, if we could have some more 181 in here. But it's like at the top there, it's not as strong. like uh, this light area here there's another one goes down there but I'm going to have to have put a darker color on in a minute this is miles too light This is that lip I was referring to earlier, which is stronger. A bit like that one there. And there, 181 again, but not very strong because this is this area is just barely, barely grey like an extension of this but that is pretty close line not a line 
when it's shading. But I did say I was going to do something about that. Well, I am. And the colour I'm going to use for this is 169. Now, this will darken this area here. This is on the tongue. Those other colors that we were using before uh, the this one was the 226 you see how important it was though to put it in to start with because those darker colors would certainly have created a problem of getting this in but that's not bad um, I'm deliberately going to go over the white just for the moment because what I want to do is to make it just a little darker under there This is a long sequence of video this but I could I couldn't find a time when I could break off so there we are now that that's pretty good I should probably have to work just a little bit more on it just to because to titivate it a bit but that's pretty close to the original now we can make that just a little darker in there now we can make this a little darker in here now no, no, I think that's pretty good now the point that I said was on there is there and I'm going to use my Razor just to cut back there, and just a little bit of dark around it because it's a shape that was that I was missing out on there. And right, well, that's it break off now because it's taken a long time but I think you'll agree that that is looking pretty stunning <laughs> 